Joe's cabbage is not going to be any good. Hello, guys, oh. and welcome to uh, <laughs> Tap Me In. Today, we are going to drink some cool new beers, which we got from uh, Dwayne and Brittany in Southport Tap and Sour. They're Woot! <laughs> we, got the, uh, we got the double. Thank you, guys. Double yes. nickel. We got the Castaway Chocolate Orange IPA. That sounds really cool. I'm I, excited about that one. Good to me. Why didn't you pick it up? No, it was oh. a gift. Oh, I'm excited. I like gifts. And then I, I saw like... this at uh, Lowe's Grocery. Jazz cabbage. And... <laughs> the jazz cabbage. Jazz cabbage. Jazz cabbage. But I thought it said jazz cabbage. Was it by Terrapin? Yeah. Yeah, but we'll save this one for last because it says when you open it, it's supposed to make your whole apartment smell like weed. So and I we'll, hate that smell. So we'll, we'll keep that for last. Yeah. But we'll start off with the double nickel. There's also a small new kitten who's running around, so he might make an appearance. Hopefully. Just like my new glasses made an appearance. Aren't Ooh, we so excited? Yes. Ho -ho. Oh, my double chin. Hashtag Josie Dunn. And my double <laughs> chin made an appearance, too. Right. Oh, let me see this film. What what's 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 going on here? It's a N E pale ale. New England. Oh. <laughs> New England pale ale, excuse me. Excuse my language, I don't know these things. It contains lactose. Mm. Five per five percent alcohol, sixteen fluid ounces. Brewed, designed, and canned at Double Nickel Brewing Company. Blah blah blah. Uh, New Jersey. <laughs> hazy. Ooh, it's a hazy. Is it really oh. is it really brewed in New Jersey? Yeah, Dirty Jersey. Oh, dear. No offense, our Jersey fans, because we don't have fans. <laughs> we just have mortal enemies. Everyone doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, I think Bubby wants to go out. You guys should all start a, uh, a Facebook group called Screw Tap Me In. Well, we did get knocked down a few. On... Did they? Uh, yeah, it's hard to find. I... It's okay. Oh. It's because people saw our name because it was amazing. All right, well... Cheers, guys. Let's see how this uh, yeah. New England pale is. Yeah, the nose on this. It smells citrusy, actually. <laughs> My cat wants to go outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Come on, Mr. Bell. Don't be a pain It smells about. like a dirty dishwasher after a continental breakfast. It does not. Oh, we're going <laughs> continental breakfast now. <laughs> like where they pour like the milk and the orange juice together. Uh, and, like, that's donut disgusting. Yeah, that's no, it this smells smells, like kind of smells like orange juice. Honestly, to me. I don't know what kind of orange juice you've been drinking. I haven't been drinking any because of the sugar. Thank you. You have, but you had a mimosa earlier. I had a sip at Southport and Tap and Cellar. <laughs> I know, my double chin. <laughs> right, what what's your thoughts on this here? Ew, I don't like it. Ew, that's odd. It has like a citrus taste at first, but then there's like a weird aftertaste. Like, not bitter, it's like... Look. Kind of, it's coating my tongue, but mm -hmm. mm. I definitely get it's the lactose thick. out of it. Yeah, That's it's not lactose. bad. It's not it's just, yeah. thick, but it does coat your tongue. I don't love it. It has a good taste at first. It's the aftertaste that's a. It's a killer of my Double joy. nickel. You know what? Okay. What? It actually tastes like a nickel. Doesn't that? No, really. When do you eat nickels? Well, when I was a, when I was a little child, you know, you put everything in your mouth. <laughs> I used to put batteries at my nose. <laughs> and you're making fun of me. Oh my god, Miss, miss like, what are you with the inner desert bunny over there? Mm. You guys had a very <laughs> different childhood than me. <laughs> yeah, I don't love this. Oh, I just hit my keys. Sorry. I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. I mean, I don't hate it. It's the aftertaste that's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It t it tastes it does oh hi table. There's the kitten. Oh no <laughs> <laughs> Come here, bud. We'll get him. Oh Table the Mighty yeah. Hello dude. Uh, okay. Oh you turd. <laughs> All right, okay, you sit, sit right, there. You sit there. <laughs> he just ate a bunch of brie, now he's all jacked up. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew, Chip. Oh no, it's all turned. Yeah, but I, mean, uh, I don't think that I, I don't think that I would want to drink more than the amount no, that you poured not in this no. cup. Uh -uh. It does taste like a nickel, though. It's the, the the honestly the first taste is not bad. It's the aftertaste that's really weird. But I don't know how to explain it. That's how they get you because you have to keep drinking it to get that aftertaste gone. Oh, uh, that's true. But then it keeps coming back because it's the aftertaste. So you keep drinking. <laughs> 
Honestly, I'm not too surprised. Like, coats your tongue. Let's see. Because what? It's a New Jersey one. Yeah, I need to turn this down. Jersey Sorry. water. <laughs> Double nickel brewing. I've never, honestly, I've never heard of them. Mm, cute can. But, but I mean, that's not, that's not even the name of the beer. That's the brewery. Yeah. The uh, beer itself is... Autopilot? Autopilot. Okay, that makes sense, actually, for the taste. Really? It kind of, it does, because it's like, eh, I don't didn't really want anything, hard. so I'm just going to, yeah, like, we're going to put the hops and the beer and the water and everything, like, you know, in the... I was just throw it in there. Just, it, it's good. It's fine. What's Autopilot. That? Push, push the button. The button. At the end, we'll Let push. it go. Yeah. Shall we autopilot this down our throats yeah. real fast? I can't explain the aftertaste. It's and, just, uh, it has like a haze. It is hazy. It's got like And a, then give our final thoughts on this one. My final thoughts. Oh, Jerry Springer. I will give it a three, two, five. Uh, yeah, I guess I Because I kind of get what they're going for. It's not strong either way. Like, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just... Oh, ugh. Oh yeah, I'll go with three point two five. I don't know how to ex just explain that. Yeah, it's just not. Good. I hate to say it, I I kind of agree. I'll give it three point two five. Yeah, it's just it's like milk. I'm, yeah, like milky orange juice. Yeah. The after aftertaste. I'm really weird. glad that we um, that we were sponsored it and did, <laughs> shared it and didn't have to buy it. Thanks, yes, Wayne. Yes, that we were sponsored for this one. Yeah. I have I have I have much high hopes for this. You know what? I might move this to last. I have much yeah. high hopes. Let's do that. Uh, speaking, like, yeah, because I, I feel like I'm not gonna like that. Because I would rather enjoy, if that one's really good. I'd rather enjoy that. This one I hate to say. Do you want to finish this one? I don't have high hopes for I, this. I know you don't, but jazz I, cabbage. Okay. I mean, just the name Thank says you. it all. What is it? Oh, goes well with snacks because it's 420 beer. Yep. Waka waka. Yeah. Waka waka. So I, I love the Coffee. color scheme though. The Purple and green. It is pretty. My two favorite colors. Yeah. Let's see if my apartment smells like dank weed now. No, I hope Wait, not. it no, says I it right in the can. It. Oh, oh God, boy. Oh, that smells like weed. Straight up weed. Ooh. I oh, God. The smell of weed. And then... no, not that I... No offense to anyone that smokes weed. I don't give a crap. But I just hate the smell of it. Like, I don't like that smell. Hello, Tibby. Maybe Tibbles likes weed. Oh. We don't know what his past was. <laughs> Thank you. Right, I'm just gonna pour a He came bit from a broken home. Oh god, it smells so bad. I mean, I get the, I get what they're going for, and they acknowledge it. Oh, in the wait, let me read this. That That's a long thing to read. Jazz cabbage hemp IPA is our dankest beer to date. That sounds disgusting. Packing in hemp seeds and our very own special strain of hemp flavors. This IPA will fill the room with aromas of the choicest sticky nugs. <laughs> we brewed this beer by blending. <laughs> God damn, get. Very high quality. <laughs> so I'll compliment the guy profile of this heady IPA. <laughs> that was the kitten. He's drunk. <laughs> he is. Technical difficulties. 6% alcohol. Okay. Pack in, pack out. All brewed with hemp seeds and natural flavors added. Does not contain THC. So you cannot get high okay. from this. The smell gets better, I think, after now, like now that it's been opened and it's aired out a little. This is the devil. I mean, he's the culprit that knocked over the camera. He kind of he kind of reminds me of Willie Nelson. Why? Because as soon as we he opened up his can, he went there. berserk. Oh, kitty, kitty, don't do it. No, kitty. Does not taste anything like it smells. No, it doesn't. I mean, I mean it's, it's it doesn't, like, doesn't taste like other hemp IPAs. Oh, no, it tastes it, a lot better than what it smells yeah, like. Yeah, like I expected this to taste like bone water. It does not. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Yeah. It doesn't actually taste that weedy. No. <laughs> that, does, like, marijuana. And eat. now smell it again. Like, it doesn't, it's not as, uh. I don't believe really our fun. apartment will smell like weed after this, I hope which not. I'm I really hope glad not for. You don't get used to it. Hmm? I hope it's not just one of those smells that's so pungent that you oh, get used to it and you don't no. realize, you know. Don't you do it till he's looking at the camera. Yeah. I only poured a little bit in each one of our glasses I, it's for It's not this. bad. It's not great. I don't, it's kind of just bleh. I feel like they went strong on uh, whatever the smell the nose, is. Yeah. Like, yeah, the aroma. The and nose. It's, they had your size nose and they were <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Cool. I would say for all my dank. Better than your size chin. I would say for all my 
Archins. <laughs> Multiple. For all my dank IPA fans here. I don't honestly, I honestly don't know. I would say, uh, I would say this is nowhere near as good as the 420 strain or the the Hemperer. If you're looking for like an, an IPA that kind of tastes it's like marijuana. Not that bad. So, no, and I don't the, like I don't like the 420 strain that much. I don't either because it's very tastes like weed. But, but if if you're trying to get one that has like a really I don't know I don't even know how to describe it because it I've doesn't actually, taste like weed at all. No, which is good because I don't. It's like a metallic. It I've never weed. I've honestly never even smoked weed or anything, I have, but. I, I, I wouldn't. Have no problem with that. I just don't. Like it doesn't taste it. like the beers that say they, they taste like weed. It just doesn't taste like any of those. It has a much stronger smell than most of them. It does have but a strong smell. It kind of tastes like a normal IPA with a it little does. bit of like a sweet finish to it. If that makes any sense. It <laughs> does taste like that. Yeah. But there's not. But does it say what the IBU? It is? just kind of tastes like there's no nothing that stands out. No. It's just. I feel like this almost tastes like the autopilot. Just no, I think with it's like, better. No, it tastes than that one. I honestly think it tastes better than that. I think it. I think it's a little better than the autopilot. But because the doesn't autopilot, have anything that stands out like oh, it tastes like this. Like it just tastes like beer. the autopilot is trying to be like a hazy but pale ale, so like a lower alcohol, lower IBU, hazy. And to me, it kind of just kind of fell in most categories. Okay, but this, I'd probably give it like a three point seven five. It's not wine, you don't swirl it. Right, I want to see what it's Darling, saying. what are you, idiot sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely not something I would probably buy again. Nope, never. But, well, yeah. But, you, you didn't know. I know why you bought it in the first place. Because it's a new it's, beer, that's why. <laughs> well, it's not It's bad. a new beer, it's clever marketing. I mean, if you want your place to smell oh, like you're cool actually. and smoke a lot of weed, sure. get this, but, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's finish this one off, and we'll get to the, what I hope is the best one. I don't, I didn't, did I give that a rating? I said 3.75, what are you thinking? I'm 3.25. I'm at a 3.5. Okay, we're okay, that's, pretty much, it's fine, just right it's when you fine. open it, it smells just, awful. It smells terrible. I don't, so you're I don't a Charmander, like you're a Charmillion, and I'm a oh Charizard. Oh shut up. <laughs> I gotta find a, I gotta find a Pokemon reference in every video. You sure do. Them. By the way, I'm Dave, this is Courtney, that's Joe. Oh stop, they don't care. <laughs> they should care. They want to get to know us on You're a personal level. You're not YouTube famous. You're only Southport fans, Dave. Fans. They want All to know right. us on a personal yeah. level. You don't know that. But <laughs> we go pour a little bit of this one, and I kind of wonder what the color will look like. Shut up. <laughs> I like the bun. You know, I like a darker beer. I do too. What is this? It looks like a Baltic. It's it's, a, it's an IPA actually. Is it? Okay. I don't know. It's okay. It's, it's chocolate, a chocolate orange, orange IPA. IPA. Excuse me. Does no, no, no excuse for you. Uh, I, here you go. But, like I have that hempy aftertaste now from that. You give that, leave that a sip, and then. Ooh, okay. that's strong. Oh, I love the smell. I don't on that. know if I like that smell. It kind of smells like a barrel, barrel ale. So, uh, do you want to read any of the factoids Ooh. on this one, corn dog? Oh, I'm not sure about this. Uh, okay. let me find this. Seven point five percent alcohol. Government warning. <laughs> Government sink, warning. Sink the status quo, it says. It's a malt beverage brewed with spice, natural flavors added. It honestly, it doesn't say it much really on says it. Nothing. It's from Greenville, South Carolina, if anyone cares. But you Thomas know what, like, the brewery. Not having to describe it with a bunch of nonsense, like some like of the revision. other beers that we've had. Yeah. Like, you don't have to sell it by all the Indio nonsense of writing. Pearl, Thomas Creek. I don't like the smell of this at all. Thomas Creek, if you can say. I... Oh, cloudy. I don't like the smell of it. I, I, I actually quite enjoy it. I don't. You guys are always upset really, of us. Oh, it shout smells out. like Lincoln Logs. Shout outs, guys. I remember this. If you like pickle beers, oh god, Southport Tap, Southport Tap and Cellar has an awesome pickle beer. What do you know what it's called? I like pickles, but I yeah, the pickle beer was okay. I'll put it in the comments. I wouldn't if you like pickles, absolutely. Mary Wilson. Shout out to Mary. Said that this was going to be amazing. Why'd you give her a full name? Because. That way she can Google herself. <laughs> um, I don't love this. I don't hate it. Oh, it tastes pretty good. I like it a lot, actually. I don't taste it. Um, yeah, it's like a bitter 
aftertaste like coffee. For me, this is almost like a near perfection. Maybe it's cocoa, cacao. Because I think I cacao. Weird little bubbles forming I think that weren't. Cacao that are coming cocoa later. Is like um, bitter. I gotta say, thank you again, Dwayne and Brittany. Orange. This, I don't taste. Orange. This is pretty awesome. I don't taste any orange. You know, orange. I'm gonna be pretty bold. I think I'm gonna give this a 4.5. What? Oh, you're so bold. No, because it's so Clearly different. Joey's having a stroke. You must it's, be it's so different. Because it's an IPA, but it comes out, you know, a little bit like an IPA. I'm gonna give it a little bit in the back end because you get mm -hmm. the initial sweetness, and mm -hmm. it almost has like I don't get much I don't get much orange, but you get almost like a chocolatey. Oh, it's kind of like initial chocolate. flavor. Yeah. And then I almost get like an orange dark, right? yeah. extract, would they think tastes like orange? I don't taste any orange. But, and then it kind of finishes with like an IBU it rush. It smells a little sweet, but I don't taste any orange. I, you know, I, I don't taste orange. It, it's almost like orange blossom, which doesn't taste like orange. You know, um, honestly, I'm... Orange blossoms are right, by the way. I'm, I quite enjoy <laughs> this. Random fact of the day. You're what? I quite enjoy this. Oh, I thought you said you were in love with this. No. Thomas Creek. Okay. Castaway chocolate now. orange. I mean, I don't like it that much. It has that that and thicker like mealy flavor that I like the I like know, chocolatey ones. Kind. But, but this one, <laughs> I like chocolate beers. Me too. But I don't know if I've ever had a chocolate IPA. Well, until now. Who's the Who's the guy in Castaway? Tom Hanks. Yes. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if Tom Hanks would like this beer. He might. Why? Because Castaway, the movie. Castaway. Or, or I wonder. Or Wilson. I was gonna say, I wonder if they're sponsored by Wilson Company <laughs> volleyballs. But Tennis balls. balls. <laughs> um. Balls. Balls. Yeah, balls. I, think, I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna balls. stick with my uh, four point five. I, I quite enjoy wow, this. Wow, it's gonna I, say three point two five. I'm gonna give this a three five, because I'm thrilled that it doesn't taste like orange to me, because I don't care for citrus. I'm shocked that it's an IPA. I do like citrus, but I don't taste any citrus. Mary, I feel you. you. This is a pretty dang good beer. You just said you don't, right? What's that? You don't taste citrus, right? I don't. I don't taste citrus. I you also don't? feel like a little bit. Mary, when you had you this, you were, you were already kind of drunk. <laughs> That's why you think it's amazing. Like I tasted the pickle beer last night. And was like, oh, it's not that bad. I hate pickles. I this love pickles. Very, and I tried the pickle beer. And it's fairly it's, inebriated. It's too too much. But that's not in our video, so it doesn't matter. Uh, closing, two, closing thoughts? 3.25. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I rated all of them, right? 3. Yeah. 3. I was not that impressed with any of them, actually. Closing thoughts, I would pick this up out of the three that we've had. This is oh, the one yeah, that I Oh, yeah, out of all three, I would drink that one. This is, the this is absolutely the one. Yep. Chocolate. Honestly, they were all pretty decent. It, it, the first one just didn't hit it for me. Though. And it has a decent... It's a slightly higher alcohol than, like, the other, because... What, what was it? 7.5. So it makes it worth drinking. Yeah, that was a six, and this, this was, was a six. Like that five. was a five. Oh, there's no point in a five. Sure there is. No, you don't take home a five, you don't drink a five. <laughs> Grenade. I'm the five that you take home. <laughs> I'm a Southport 11, though. <laughs> what right. am I, a 20? Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Negative mm. 20. I don't love it, love it, but... It's, I mean, no, This I is my favorite out of these. Yeah, out of all these, it's my favorite, but I probably wouldn't order it. But anyway. I feel like it would go good with a soda. Like, oh, if you mixed them? No, just like I, I would do the switch back and forth. Oh. I feel like it would go good with gummy worms. <gasps> oh, yeah, actually. But then you'd feel a really like, disgusting knot in your tummy because you had like gummy worms and you're in your 20s. And you should be <laughs> you're an adult. I'm not in yeah. Or even 30s or 40s because obviously you have to be at least legal age to be drinking this. None of us are in our 40s. Yet. <laughs> I can tell you where I got my bow tie. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. All right. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>